Yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ. Hey, y'all. Look at my boy Rocky. What up, Rocky? Hey, y'all. What y'all over talking about, man? These are here all boys, y'all. Look, just clean the kennel, look. All right, y'all, so this video is a little bit different, man. I just want to talk to y'all for a second. Also, I do have four boys available, man. I sold it out there for the people that's interested in dogs, man. I do have four boys available. Tomorrow, I will be officially showing dogs the ones I have available to the world. And that is um, pictures and, and um, personal videos of the four boys I have available. Also, the few girls that I do have available. Get in the shower, y'all. What a long day, man. I just cleaned out all the kennels, even the ones outside, fed all the dogs. But if everybody know, if you know anything about cleaning, it never stops, man. I just cleaned them kennels and they back dirty literally just now. But it's what it is. So yesterday, yesterday I made a um I made a human mistake. They cost a couple of my chickens their life. There's still one chicken um, that was able to escape the coop when they broke into it, ran out. Um, she is still doing, she's still doing all right, man. She by herself, but she's doing fine, man. Um, trying to figure out if I want to add, um, I want to go get more chickens and um, so she don't be alone. So I've been contemplating that and I'll figure that out tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'll know if I'm gonna um, buy more chickens or not. But yeah, this video was just, uh, of course, show y'all the new setup of the puppies, man. Um, just having them inside a little bit more. Today wasn't, it wasn't that hot outside today. So they spent a lot of time outside today just running around, um, just enjoying this show, playing, doing what puppies do. Um, I actually, I all could be outside right now, man. I'm, I'm thinking about putting them all outside right now. You see how loud they is? I'm thinking about putting them all out right now. Um, Cause I keep my house pretty cool. I keep my house like around 70. For them, that's kind of, that's cold. You know what I'm saying? For them, that's cold. They be all cuddled up. For them, that's really cold. Um, but anyway, yesterday I made a human mistake. It wasn't Zeus' fault, man. I was more mad at myself that I forgot to put Zeus up. I forgot to put the dogs up. Um, and that was my, that was my mistake. That was my human error. And I took it out of them last night. No, I did not abuse him or whoop him. But he knew that he messed up, man. He knew that he, he wasn't supposed to do that because he wouldn't have done that if I was outside. See, one thing people say is just dog instincts and all that type of stuff. If this is if this is instinct to do that, he would have he would do it while I'm outside. He he wouldn't do it when I'm not around them, you know what I'm saying? So they're just acting out being destructive as Zeus has always been very, very destructive. That's why Zeus is the reason I bought Retriever Kennels, believe it or not. It wasn't because of Roxy, it wasn't because of Navy. I can put Navy behind a fucking chicken wire fence 
and he understand that I put him back there behind it, and um, he'll wait till I um, open up the chicken wire or whatever it is to um, to let him out. You know what I'm saying? He will wait until I say it's okay. That's why Navy was loose in the backyard with the chickens, and he didn't do anything to him because he understands that. I don't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him doing that. And he respects me. Zeus is like the, he's like a teenager that just, he's a rebel. He just want to try stuff. He want to just destroy stuff. Uh, so he is a reason about retrieval kennels. Um, those retrieval kennels does not allow him to be destructive. There's nothing he can do to him and there's no way he can get out of them. So that is, he is a reason. He has always been the reason I bought those kennels. Um, but yesterday, I forgot. Um, I got distracted. I took me a shower. I was in my robe. I didn't want to go back outside and deal with my just, um, just letting them be dogs, you know what I'm saying? Letting them be free in the backyard. And um, with that being said, I... Um, I gave him the opportunity to, to do the things that he loved to do and that's um be destructive and um become a uh, you know a predator. Um so uh that was my mistake. Um will I make that mistake again? I would not make that mistake again. This was this was an experience that I needed to experience now. As you guys know, my, my aspirations is to have a ranch. My aspiration is to have me a little mini farm, a little homestead. Um, just a place where all the animals living together, working together, and um, we just, you know, kind of live in harmony. And um, although they, some will say that's a fairy tale, but it's just a dream of mine. Um, that being said, I still need to put in the, the proper precautions to protect um, my animals. And um, although I do have the proper precautions, I didn't do the proper steps. I didn't I didn't maintain um, the attention or detail that I need to to protect um, my my animals and. Um, I just want to apologize to to my chickens, man. To to God, to to um, just to the world, man. Uh, even to y'all, to even see me act out of character last night. Um, today I spent time with them. I took them for a walk. Just did a lot of one on one with them. Just uh, embracing them, and um, cause last night he seen me mad. Um, last night all the dogs seen me mad. It was so quiet. Um, in my house, um, around my dogs, Navy was even, Navy had his tail tucked last night. He could just sense that, um, that I was, uh, I wasn't in my right mind. I was hurt. I was hurt. And I was more hurt that I allowed myself to be so careless, to be so irresponsible, um, to to, uh, to to allow that to happen, man. And um, my feelings were so hurt last night, y'all. When I um, I try to be very transparent. I know I, I know I always say transparency is everything. I try to be very transparent to show you guys that um, I'm still human, y'all. Like I I still make mistakes. Um, although I'm a very positive person last night, um, showed, showed me that you are, you still learning, man. And, um, with learning comes growth, with growth comes power and with power comes confidence. And, um, I'm very confident that I would do the right thing, um, that I would make sure that I, that I would not be that, that careless, man. Um, so I started out with seven chickens, y'all. 
two chickens died because I didn't I didn't do the proper research on what type of food they need to even be able to eat. So two of them weren't eating, weren't able to eat the pellets that I got. Two died from that. So then we were down to um, five chickens. Um, I was outside playing with the dogs all day. I, I knew that I wasn't gonna get the, the chickens out to out the pen while the dog, all the dogs are. Because it's one thing having one dog out and they not doing anything, but when dogs get together, they get their pet, anything can happen. And it'll be too hard to stop all the dogs from, from messing with the chickens. So I put all the dogs up and I was sweaty, I was hot, I was wet. I was excited, I had a great day. But I forgot to let the chickens out so they uh, could find shade. So two chickens died from the heat, from um, um, heat exhaustion. And um, so we were down to three chickens. And then, as you guys know, last night, two chickens died because I didn't put my dogs up. So now we're down to one chicken. And this this whole little thing, man, I just been learning and learning and learning. And um I am more confident now that uh that I will do the right thing and take the proper steps to make sure that I protect all my dogs, even Zeus. Um protecting them from itself. Um at the end of the day, man, he's still a dog. Um I can't think of any, I can't think of him more than that. I know I try, I know y'all try to get real personal with with the dogs and with animals, but you gotta understand that they still are animals and they still need somebody to be over them to um, put them in the best position possible so they don't harm themselves or others or, or other animals. So um, I've been up all day. I didn't get up, I sleep last night. I woke up early this morning. Just cleaning and letting the dogs play around and spending time with Zeus and Navy and Roxy. Just, just a lot of one-on-one time. I ended up talking to TJ earlier today. Um, he owns the um, the, the chocolate Merv in there, and I'm just talking to him. And um, yeah, man, just um, I really do appreciate you for reaching out to me today, man. Um, I don't talk to a lot of people, and uh, I don't open up to a lot of people. So uh, I'm very, I'm very shut off from people, man. I, I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy animals a little bit more than I do people, and uh, which is something I need to work on because I understand teamwork really makes the dream work. And I understand that um, I need people. I, I need the people. Nobody needs to be alone. Nobody, nobody can function by themselves um, to to their highest capability. Um, trying to do things alone. So um, there's a lot of things I need to work on and I'm, I'm willing to work on it. I'm willing to do more reaching out. I'm willing to do more voicing how I feel and um, just being more vulnerable um, to people and, um, you know, being more more um, more aware of what I need to do on a day in a day basis. Because as you guys know, this is what I do for a time. I, take care of my family, I take care of my animals, man. I'm excited this week, tomorrow's Monday, this is my daughter, my oldest girl, last week of school, so I get to spend time with her, she'll be in Houston all summer, and um, I'm excited about that. With her being here, I, I still have to get up every day and take care of the things I need to take care of and um, be aware of um, of what I need to do so I don't make mistakes um, with them, even with her. Um, so it's just, today has been a good day reflecting and I'm being self-aware. And um, I'm very, 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 I'm, I, 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 I hold myself um, very accountable with, um, I know I, I know I gotta do better and I will do better. I promise y'all, I promise my animals, when I bought these dogs, I, I told, I pledged that I was going to um, put them in the best situation possible. I was going to take care of them to the best of my ability. Uh, that's why I've been reading books. I've been doing research. I do a lot to understand um, 
understand dogs and um, even chickens, man, just to understand them. And I know that they're a social animal, so I have to get more chickens. It's not, even if I don't get them to just, to just to lay eggs, but I don't want that chicken to, to be like me just by itself and around everything else that's not like him, you know, not like her. So I will get more chickens. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to get baby chickens or do I want to get older chickens um, closer to the age of the chicken that's outside. So, um, you know, they can just, you know, hang out together and do chicken shit, you know, so. Um, in this video like this, man, I just want to tell y'all, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, all the kind words and the comment section that you guys been leaving me, um, I appreciate it, man, I see everything, man, I got y'all back, and I understand that y'all got my back too, that's why my shit doesn't say Elliot Johnson, nothing, I mean, I, it's just my family, man, y'all part of my family, everybody that subscribes to me, everybody that tune into me, that call me, that text me, that comment at that shared my videos, that um, showed me appreciation. I appreciate you. One of my subscribers seen one of my videos and um, they just told me it made them feel good and they needed that. And um, they sent me a hundred dollars, y'all. I'm not gonna say her name, but shout out to you. And I, I never had nobody do that for me before, ever. Um, I would never, ever, ever forget that. I would never, ever forget you. I've never had nobody just to, just to do something nice for me with no expectations of nothing in return. That meant something to me. Um, and I appreciate that for the rest of my life. Um, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, for people that's been inquiring about dogs, um, if you, if you, if you, if you're a good person, you have an opportunity to own one of my puppies. Um, and I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it if you're a good person or not. So it doesn't take, it doesn't take long because I block numbers all the time. It doesn't take long. So if you are a good person, you're interested in owning one of my puppies, please hit me at 206-499-0422. Everything you need to know and the detail of the puppet will be in the description below. Um, I am offering to do some co-ownership with two of my boys, my white and blue boy and um, my Brenda boy. I don't want a lot of boys in my house. Um, so, but I do want to be a part of their life. I do want to um, want to be connected with them personally, um, not just selling it full um, I do want to be a, a part of them, them boys' life personally, so make sure you hit me up at 206-499-0422. I do have puppies available, and I'm going to tell you right now, owning a dog will change your life forever. It will change your life forever, and it's only going to change it for the best because it will show you, and no matter what going on, Everything ain't gonna be all right. You gotta keep going. You gotta get up. You gotta handle your business. You gotta make sure you do the right thing. Cause they know, the world know, God see everything. So um, just, be, just be a good person and be kind to each other. Make sure you tell somebody how much they mean to you um, on a daily basis. And I'm not saying you gotta tell the same person how much they mean to you on a daily, daily basis, but just tell somebody somewhere um what 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 them being a part of your life mean to you um and um i appreciate every last one of y'all we on the road to 40,000 subscribers i never dreamed this um as a youtuber as somebody that just vlog my life um, i don't do no sketches or anything like that i don't make up content i just spend time with my dogs every day and my family and um I just show you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you for being, for even wanting to be a part of this. Um, I will do video, I will have more videos uploaded this week of dog park videos. And when my daughter, when my daughter get here, we're gonna do more videos together. So make sure you subscribe to the page. 
um, to the link that's in the description on my personal page. It's Elliot Johnson, and that's where me and my daughter are gonna do a lot of a lot of, a lot of sketches and uh, a lot of mukbangs and uh, things of that sort. Uh, so make sure you um, you subscribe to both channels, and I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a great night, and uh, I appreciate y'all. Good night.